Welcome back to Apex Alchemy. Today we're looking at the Work Tough Gear Famine. We're going to go in depth. This isn't going to be a normal tabletop review. We actually take it outside and get to use it a little bit. Um, I'll go ahead and say right now, if you want to see a full comprehensive video on the famine, check out Choir Boys Outdoors. Uh, Cutlery, Choir, Choir Boy, what's, what's Scab? You know Scab, man. Uh, Choir Boys Cutlery Outdoors. Yeah, Choir Boys Cutlery Outdoors. Uh, he's here on YouTube. If you don't happen to know already, but uh, excellent channel. This was his knife. I got it from Hunting for Hookers. Uh, it just wasn't his style. He wanted in the D bad thing, and um, we did a little bit of trading. So I assured him it was going to get a good home. And we're going to put it to use. So we worked out a trade, and um, when it came in, I wasn't crazy about the uh, Kydex sheath. So I bought a machete from Walmart. You'll see us use that machete. Actually, you won't see us use that machete. I cut that part of the video out. The reason why, I just got a, a regular old machete from Walmart, and it actually did pretty good. We, we took down a sapling with it, um, which I don't normally do. I normally try to look for a tree that's already down. I removed, you see these rivets? I removed the top two rivets uh, so I can have a dangler sheath. I'm not crazy about tech lock stuff. Uh, it, it works just fine. It's perfect. You know, it's like a, it's a, it's a perfect fit. Um, nothing, nothing crazy. It's just a cheap sheath. Uh, it's not a permanent solution. I would like to get a leather sheath or something like that, but we'll go into that later. Um, right now, just want to like kind of go over, man, this thing is like, uh, I want to say like 25 grams. I'm sorry, like 25 ounces. So it's well over a pound. It's got a great balance. It's a fighting knife. We're going to use it as a bushcraft knife. So the footage you see here in a few minutes is stuff that we'll be doing while we're camping. It's not like when it, you know, we're not trying to chop through bricks or anything. We're taking down saplings, making walking sticks. That's about as extreme as we get on the trails. Uh, other than that, man, you know, if it'll do that, you know, do that proficiently without rolling an edge, without breaking a, a tip, uh, any of that stuff, it'll handle anything else that we throw at it, uh, including self-defense, right? I mean, I think it would just be like pretty much common sense. Uh, so it is one pound and four ounces. So I guess that's about 20 ounces. Yeah, I guess that's about 20 ounces. So it's about 20 ounces. The blade stock is 0.23. I'll turn that on. We'll check that out. So we got 0.23, so almost a quarter of an inch, but not quite. Uh, how that would translate in millimeters? I want to say it's like almost six. Five 5.89, 5 somewhere around there. So yeah, almost six millimeters thick, and uh, it's it's just a it's just a chunky beast, man. It's an SK85 steel. I can attest that the heat treat is wonderful on this thing. We've done a little bit of chopping, uh, not just on that sapling, but some other stuff, but you'll see some footage of that. Um, okay, uh, we'll uh, got the G10 handle. If you want to remove the scales, and it is full tank instruction, uh, you know, uh, but if you want to remove the scales, it's just three, I want to say T10s. Let's see. Yes. T well, maybe, maybe bigger than that, y'all. No, it's going to be T10. It'll be T10. Okay, so three T10 screws. And what else is there to say about it? The famine is supposed to be like in, in Norse mythology, uh, the hell, H-E-L, uh, you know, the character or, or whatever, the god, goddess of the underworld. Um, it's This is her famine. Her famine was the name of her fighting knife. So this is like hell's fighting knife. That's, that's what it portrays. It's got this pretty cool little piece of art here and I can't remember the dude's name Michelson something like that that uh that designed it anyway very comfortable we'll go now we'll show you a little bit of footage uh of, of the the knife in action uh, it's nothing crazy it's just making a walking stick man it's you know it's kind of like prepping a sapling uh so we can you know uh uh, get the get the knots off, get get the branches off, and and uh, turn it into a walking stick later. 
Uh, all right, so we'll do that now. All right, so uh, yesterday we got in the mail from Hunting Truckers, the work tough gear famine. I don't understand tech locks. You know, like this one don't have it, but uh, I tried to make a makeshift paracord dangler and really didn't work out all that great. Uh, not a big deal, but my son asked me, you know, it's the same as a machete. Kind of gave me an idea. I'm glad he, I'm glad he brought that up because I knew this is a nine inch blade and Walmart had a 10 inch blade machete for 14 bucks. My dad used to buy machetes like this a lot when we go camping. Of course, back in it was like five or six bucks. You probably go through three or four of them a year. 20 bucks wrapped up in a camping season. Uh, anyway, I'm not crazy about the, I, I've got no problem with Kydex at all. Kydex is a great material for a sheath. But I like danglers, <clears throat> stitch danglers. Um, I did buy this uh, machete pretty much for this sheath. And uh, I took the two rivets out on the top so the blade wouldn't interfere. And so that gives you a, a cheap option for a sheath for the famine. Uh, if, you don't, if you're like me, you don't really care much for tech locks and stuff like that. Uh, it's not that I don't really care for them. I just don't understand the need for them. I think they're tactical. We lose screws out of them. <laughs> right. You know, we lose screws out of them. And, and, and they're we, a lot more complicated <clears throat> than just a... Yeah. Just regular, dangle it, man. Yeah. Just dangle it, you know. Just dangle it. Let, it. let it dangle free. That's what you need to do. Okay, so I got a sapling down uh, because we're running low on light. I usually try to look for something that's fallen, uh, but uh, what I want to do, and I took the sapling down with the machete. Like, we'll take some of this to tabletop later to show some of the differences, um, which there's a lot of differences. Like. The blade stock is going to be One of the big a big difference, right? Yeah. This machete is really light. I don't know if it's full tang. I doubt it is, but it's it's a fifteen dollar machete. You know, it'll get the job done. It got the job done on the sapling. But uh, a deer? Oh, he's chasing a deer. The dog's chasing a deer. <laughs> He'll find out. <laughs> He'll fuck around. He'll find out. But um, he gets too close. That deer will little know. Am I in frame? Yeah. So I want to take this. Uh, I will make a walking stick out of this. That way we don't waste it. But I uh, just want to see what kind of chopping this does compared to the machete. Do you want me to hold it? Oh, never mind. No. <laughs> yeah, that was, well, that was quick and easy. It was quick and easy. A little too easy, huh? Oh, yeah. I don't want to take down another sapling because we don't really have use for it. Right. Um. But yeah. That was really easy. <laughs> This is kind of, you know, like the real world stuff we'll we'll find ourselves doing. And, and we did just last weekend, and man, this would have made it a lot easier to get that stuff off of yeah. the knots and stuff. <laughs> right. Then my little crappy SRK in crappy steel. Even the machete did better than the, <laughs> the SRK. I'm going to try to... Whack it. You see it here? Yeah. There we go. Woohoo! Worked up gear, famine. I'm just, uh, I'm impressed. But I gotta say, the machete didn't make it hard either to uh, to do what we needed to do. With and, it. and it looks to have a pretty decent saw on that machete too. It does. We can see. Tell you what. Saw saw a little bit. Yeah. I think it'd be quicker to chop through it. Probably a big chip. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try it. <laughs> oh, 
I don't know. I picked a good spot. <laughs> <laughs> we can chop through it for sure. Yeah. But uh. But holding it like hold that. Hold it in front of the camera. Yeah. All that stuff, you know. But anyway, <clears throat> we'll take it back to the the tabletop and we'll. Okay, so you saw us, uh, you know, having fun out there with the with the knife and the machete. The machete actually did pretty good too. That's not really a review on it, but for 14 bucks, I can't complain. Uh, it did it did okay. I didn't roll an edge whenever I took the sapling down. You're not going to see that because, and I'll be honest with you, I, I cut it out because my my shirt was riding up, and you could see the the small of my back was showing a little bit of my underwear. So I'm I, I, don't, I don't like that. Just how just how it happened. So I'm not uh I'm, I'm cutting that out. Uh, but the machete took down the sapling, so it chopped down the sapling. And uh, you know, by the way, blade stock. 1.96 millimeters and on the machete and how that translate is 0 0.07 0 0.08 point yeah point, 0 0.08 we'll call it 0 0.08 uh to be kind but uh that's uh that's a big difference in a machete and a and a a fighting knife or a real bushcraft knife is is you know the, the blade stock is your durability man you know like this thing will break far more than this will. This is a lifetime knife. This is maybe like two per camping season. But I mean, economically speaking, if this is what you need, uh, you know, it'd take 20 years to spend this much money uh, or to, to buy as many machetes as it would take to buy one of these knives. So it's all in what's important to you. What's important to me is having something I can depend on. Um, yeah, like one and done. Yeah, like just uh, going by the, you know, my grandpa, your grandpa's old sayings, I'm sure. You know, buy it once, uh, and uh, if you can, you know, if you can buy it once, be done with it, do it if you can. You know, uh, uh, plus I'm I like the collector aspect of it as well. But okay, so um, one thing I didn't cover: nine inch blade. The machete did have a ten inch blade, but the like I said, the sheath did fit just fine. But what am I getting at? Sorry. Uh, okay, so. We did have a little bit of struggles with chopping through uh, that that last part. You know, after Courtney was trying to saw through the, the the stick, the reason why is because just not enough leverage, man. You know, if we would have had, you know, if, if if we would have set the camera up better, had something to prop that 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 tree up on, besides just trying to hold it in my hand and chop it, then I think we would have been okay. Uh, in fact, I know we would have because we took that part of that stick off later. But uh, anyway. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions below, leave them. I love the I love the work tough gear and famine. Uh, I haven't laid my hands on a work tough gear yet that has been bad. Um, some of them look like they're for me. Some of them look like they might not be my style. But I do. I, you know, this one particularly, I, I do enjoy, and I would actually recommend it. You know, like uh, I don't do that a lot. I let, you know, uh, I mean, of course, it's up to you to make up your own mind. Uh, so don't ever take my word especially take my word alone I always look for additional sources of information but this is a good knife so you guys have a great one and uh enjoyed the video consider subscribing hit that like button we'll catch you on the flip side